Each year, Sabre is proud to present the Sabre Analytics Conference Research Awards for the best work of original analysis or commentary from the preceding year. Uh, our winners are selected from a group of finalists through voting on baseball prospectus, fan graphs, and the IBWAA. Uh, this year's award selections show very clearly that baseball fans want to read about the intersection of baseball and societal issues. Ethics and morality, racial identity, and unity and moral conviction were brought to the forefront by this year's winners, Tony Adams, Shakia Taylor, and Bradford William Davis. The Sabre Analytics Conference Research Award for Contemporary Baseball Analysis goes to Tony Adams for his work at signstealingscandal.com. Congratulations, Tony, and thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thanks, Scott. Uh, and my thanks to Sabre and the voters for this extraordinary award. It's a tremendous honor, one that a couple of years ago I couldn't have imagined receiving. Uh, as an Astros fan, the scandal that led to this moment is obviously disappointing, but I hope my efforts have brought us closer to knowing the truth of what happened. Uh, when the science scaling scandal broke, many wanted to know when it took place, who participated, and the actual effects on the Astros' performance. I also wanted to know these questions. It was my team, and it was very important to me to know the truth of what happened, good or bad. Uh, the performance question was of particular interest to researchers, but to get an accurate analysis would require the details of when the Astros were actually stealing signs. And I recognize I'm not a typical researcher, but I do have experience as an application developer. And I knew I could use that background to create an app that would allow me to log the trash can bang sufficiently enough to do it in a reasonable amount of time. And I also knew that by logging the bangs myself, I could ensure that the information was presented honestly without the sensationalism that had been dominating the scandal and that the raw data was made available so further research could be done. That was very important to me. And the thought that the data could, I was collecting could be used for detailed studies was one of the things that kept me going through the long and tedious task of listening to over 8,200 pitches for bangs. And actually the, the most rewarding aspect of this project has been the many research uh, papers and uh, articles that have been completed using the data. Uh, and finally, I'd like to acknowledge Rob Arthur for his article on using spectrograms to identify the trash can bangs. It was a great help in the development of my application. It really pointed me in the right direction. And I'd like to congratulate Bradford William Davis and Shaquille Taylor for their awards. Uh, both their articles are very uh, important and remarkable and reminders that there are far more significant issues uh, than cheating at, at baseball. Um, again, I'd like to thank Sabre and the voters for this award. I'd also like to thank my brother, Billy, and my nephew, Riley, for their support while I was developing the app and collecting the data. And to all my friends who supported me during what was really an unexpected level of attention after, after this project, it, it really kind of took me by surprise. I'd also like to thank my wife, Jeanette, for indulging me in this uh, obsession to see this work through to the end. Not too many wives would have uh, would have have a, I'd let their husbands, you know, sit in, sit in a room and listen for bangs, you know, hours on end. Uh, and I'd like to end with the hope that, you know, after all we've been through for the last year and a half or so, that soon we'll all be able to go to the ballpark and just enjoy a game. Uh, and that's really something I, I just look forward to. So again, thank you very much. This is a tremendous honor and uh, uh, I, I appreciate the uh, Sabre's uh, recognition. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate you joining us. Congratulations again. And I think many of us who are here today are fortunate to have uh, family and friends who are understanding of our various strange obsessions. Uh, the Sabre Analytics Conference Research Award for Contemporary Baseball Commentary goes to Bradford William Davis for his article, Baseball, Let Unity Stand in the Way of Protest in the New York Daily News. Congratulations, Bradford, and uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, I guess to start, um, you know, you could tell I could take this honor seriously because I am one year into a pandemic, but here I am wearing a college shirt because I was told the uh, attire was business casual. So uh, I am sincerely 
uh, blessed and honored to be here. Um, you can see my award. Hey. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I'll, I want to thank, uh, of course, the Society of American Baseball Research for uh, nominating me for uh, every person who read through all the articles and, you know, all, all, many of them just worthy of tremendous praise and but still chose mine. Thank you uh, for reading, for engaging and for supporting, you know, through, through reading, clicking on, <laughs> clicking on the link, which, you know, keeps me employed. And, uh, and then of course voting. Um, thank you um, to, to my wife, Laura, uh, whose um, support help create opportunities for me to think and write for many years, um, especially during this very incredibly challenging season of a uh, pandemic, constant working from home, and of course, raising children together. Um, so Laura's labor and, and, and love um, has allowed me to thrive in the role I have now and uh, couldn't thank her enough. Uh, thank you um, to my children who give me a reason to fight for uh, a better world in the small ways that I have the opportunities to do so, which is, which is primarily again through my writing and through, you know, and, and journalism and reporting and, and, uh, and commentary and analysis. So, um, thank you for being the love and joy of my life. I, um, y'all are too young to, uh, log on to zoom, but I love you. <laughs> and, uh, one day you'll see this recording. So I just want you to hear it. And one more time, um, Thank you to, uh, man, countless friends inside and outside of the sport. Um, to Akemeni, to Tyler, to Ray, to Johnny, to, to Elvin Witt. Uh, man, uh, to all the people who hold me down in group texts. To Shakia, who is also uh, a, an award winner today. To Randy. Um, so many wonderful people that, uh, that God has put in my life. Uh, uh, to challenge me, to push me, to support me, to pray for me, to joke with me, to help me not take myself seriously, to help me not take this game too seriously. <laughs> um, I, you know, I couldn't be, I couldn't do this out, y'all. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess to, to all of you who are, who are here, you know, my, my ultimate hope through this, the, through, through the calm that, you know, um, that you, you <laughs> uh, chose here, um, is to, I guess to implore you to ask more from your sports. Obviously, we are we're all here. We're steam heads with baseball fans, but this is true of any of anything. You know, um, we are constantly being uh, told to equate our consumptive habits with morals, and that will never really happen um, when 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 that is when the sport when when the when the sports that we that that ask us to do that whether it's through you know um tacit support for civil rights of any sort or you know or you know really fill in the blank of the cause do it so cynically um and so my hope is to you know to implore you to ask more out of you know out of the sports you consume to consider um when there is a campaign for racial justice or again, fill in the blank of whatever cause moves you and matters to you. Um, is you know, if is it is it sincere? Probably not. Uh, is it effective? At least ask for that. Consider consider what material benefit it offers to the uh, the people that could be most boosted by you know through support of that cause. Um, consider if uh, if there's any consistency with how the league with how our our, our sports leagues or athletes or whatever um, operate in other parts of their lives. Um, and don't just settle, <laughs> don't settle for, for, for empty slogans. Don't settle for, um, co-opted and appropriated terminology from people who are literally giving their lives away, giving, laying their lives down for the sake of a better and more just world. Demand more, demand better. Um, and to the writers out here to ask tough questions. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is a wonderful profession that we're in. And the and let's make the most out of it through uh, promoting the game by being honest with it, creating a creating a foundation for which we can love this sport, um, or at least our children, our grandchildren can love can love this sport without the icky feeling of um, profit above everything, 
weighing, you know, weighing whatever good it brings us, you know, down. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess above all that, you know, thank you so much for for considering me for engaging with with my work, and I hope to uh, one day uh, go outside uh, with all you that wonderful vaccinated people and uh, and celebrate uh, baseball, celebrate you know uh, our, our our continued growth and understanding on every you know possible level. Thank you. Bradford, thank you and congratulations again. We'll make sure to get this video to you so you can share it with your family. Uh, our final award today, the Sabre Analytics Conference Research Award for Historical Analysis and Commentary goes to Shakia Taylor for her article, Effa Manley's Hidden Life at SB Nation. Congratulations, Shakia, and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Um, it's super fun and exciting to be here. Um, I wanna thank everyone who voted, everyone who read, supported, shared, tweeted me. Um, the love was felt in a year that was filled with just uncertainty and so much pain. Um, um, I don't wanna take away from you know the seriousness of the last year, but I appreciate this honor. Um, I wanna thank um, Graham Mackery, who is my editor for Effa Manley's Hidden Life um, and Effa Manley, right? <laughs> I, I couldn't have, I wouldn't have gone on the journey without what is her life. Um, first and only woman in Cooperstown and probably the most mysterious person I've ever researched um, just ever. Um, it's interesting what she means to the sport, what she means to women, uh, what she means to African Americans. And I'm just grateful that I was the vessel to sort of tell such a complex story. Um, thank you to all the voters. Uh, Last year when I was nominated, I was taken by surprise. This year when I was nominated, I was taken by surprise. So winning was truly, truly a blessing and thank you to everyone.